hope that you're having a good day so far. Um, just wanted to show you of what I'm getting into right now at the moment. I actually showed a video probably maybe three months ago, um, I think, I can't remember the day, but of a how to take your, your flat cabinet doors, your kitchen cabinet doors, and then turn them into shaker style cabinet doors. So if you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out on my channel. Um, just click under videos and you can scroll down to see all that video. Um, if you're just looking to upgrade your kitchen to a more modern looking kitchen at not even a fraction of the cost that it would take to do if you went to Lowe's and purchase new cabinets or Home Depot or somewhere like that. So anyway, if you're interested in that video, go please go watch it. I think that you would enjoy it and find it very helpful. Today, um, before I spray paint these doors, uh, which I'm not going to spray paint all of them on camera because it would pretty much um, be a lot of footage spray painting them because they're going to take several coats, but we have a total of 22 cabinet doors. Unfortunately, the two small cabinet doors that went above the refrigerator um, ended up being, um, we had to take those doors off because the refrigerator that we bought uh, was too tall for the cabinets. So the doors now aren't going to fit. So now we have 20 cabinet doors that we need to spray paint and work on. These are done. I've got 11 of the doors um, done and needing spackling as far as, you know, these little holes are concerned. So I'm actually going to go ahead and fill all these little tiny holes in with wood putty and then around the edges where I've added this trim facing on the top of the cabinet door, I'm going to go in with uh, caulk and just kind of fill in the edges around through here so that we can get that done, let it dry. I'll go back and sand this and then we're going to spray paint the cabinet doors that are ready to go. My husband bought this stuff called ProBond uh, Professional Strength Wood Filler by Elmer. And um, basically it's stainable, but we're not going to be staining the doors. We're actually going to be painting them white. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started filling this in these little holes right through here. And then he got me the, the DAP White um, Alex Fast Dry Fast Acrylic Latex Caulk. And basically it does all of these things. Um, dries really fast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill the caulk around the cracks through here. So. When you get to the short pieces um, that fit together, you want to take um, and fill the little cracks in that the wood is butting up against as well. really matter if some of this gets on the actual cabinet doors on the edges I mean it's going to be spray painted over anyway so you can't really tell but um, where this board meets this board here you want to get that crack filled in in the, in the center so that there's no exposed crack showing whenever you go to spray paint it 
you want these to look customized like they are bought brand new and if you have a crack showing on them then it's going to show that you did this yourself you know so my goal for my kitchen cabinets is to make them look like they were special ordered from Lowe's or Home Depot there's the other edge and that's what it looks like so basically that just needs to dry and then once it's dry then we can go ahead and start sanding off the wood putty and then it'll be ready for spray painting Josh just got home from work he's up in the backyard trimming the maple trees <laughs> he always seems to catch me right when I try to sneak him on film anyway he is working on that we got to cut the backyard this evening we're gonna do that and we got to sand these cabinet doors I've kind of procrastinated today so now I've got to just sand these two doors that I have left for today and then, um, then we can go ahead and get started with spray paint. Happy Motivational Monday, you guys. Um, today I'm actually working on spray painting those cabinet doors. Um, let me just tell you, I am first of all very sorry that this video did not go up on Friday like I planned. It thunderstormed as I showed you in that video. Saturday morning I had high hopes, the sun was shining, it was a beautiful day outside but the wind was not good <laughs> so go figure um, we had a windy day on Saturday and these little let me show you this tree here and this tree tend to have these little tiny white flower petals that just fall out of the tree I'm not really sure what kind of tree that is but either way they fall out of the tree and they were blowing in the front and the backyard yesterday or Saturday so um, I was afraid that if I spray painted the doors with all those leaves falling and stuff my paint job would just be completely ruined so yesterday was Mother's Day I was gonna do them yesterday but then we went to the cemetery we had family that came up and I just decided you know what I'm gonna do it on motivational Monday I mean I'm sorry you guys I was misleading I told you they'd be up on Friday and then I told you I'd try to get them up on Saturday and then they just didn't get up on Sunday I am really so so sorry but weather conditions and then the holiday on top of that I just figured you know what I'm gonna wait and I'm just gonna do them on motivational Monday so that is what I'm doing this morning um, let me show you I've got a piece of plastic spread out this is my table just to hold everything on um, and I'm gonna set up the doors on top of these little triangles that I got from Home Depot I have been practicing this morning um, using the spray paint gun with water in the actual container so um, just to get a feel of how you know the nozzles work you know for vertical to horizontal and so forth um, so <laughs> I'm really nervous you guys never used a spray paint gun in my life I'm hoping I don't mess this up but we shall see I mean if if I do a good job of it today you know what the paint gun may be my my best friend because <laughs> I love to paint I paint all sorts of projects around my house so this could come in just this could come in handy quite a bit around my house so um, anyway and excuse my crazy hair this morning you guys it's one of those days where you're not going anywhere and you don't feel like doing your hair and so you put a bandana on it and just work with it so sorry for the atrocious look this morning but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get started and here we go hey guys I spray painted the cardboard and of course bugs are trying to stick to it right now but either way um, it's starting to dry right now so here is the cardboard I think it looks really good I mean you can see it's an even consistency even though it's a little bit wet right now I think it's a I think it's good I think it looks really good um, you know I'm going to go ahead and practice on do you remember the doors I was telling you about that goes over the refrigerator we had to take the shelf out from the bottom so these little doors here aren't going to fit anymore so what I'm going to do since we're going to leave that cabinet open faced now I'm going to go ahead and practice on spray painting these doors since we can't use them anyways Hey guys, 
guys. I am downstairs, um, and this cabinet door is still drying, but let me pick it up. I have to say that I'm pretty proud of it. It's really hard to film, guys, and show you. Um, you can see it's got the shiny coat. I mean, that part's still drying a little bit. But yeah, I think it turned out really nice. Um, with this practice run, there are a couple of little spots that kind of dripped. See that little bubble right there? I don't know if you can see it. I can't point to it, but right there. Um, that did a little bit of an overspray. But, but overall, you guys, I think it turned out pretty awesome minus that one little bubble. I did the cabinet door and I think it turned out great. Um, it did get a little bit more um, thicker than I wanted it to. So I actually called um, Wagner, which by the way, we're using the Wagner Flexio 590 spray paint gun. Um, so just in case you guys are wondering what paint gun we're using, that is what we're using. Um, but I ended up calling Wagner um, because I felt like the paint on the cabinet door that I did, the practice run, was a little too thick. It turned out great. I mean, it looks fine. There was a couple of bubbles in it, and that is not the finished product that you want on cabinet doors. So I ended up calling um, Wagner. They said that if you actually look at the back of the paint can, um, it will tell you the ratio of how to dilute the paint to make it a little thinner and that I should be instead of using the, the bigger can, uh, canister for the spray paint because it comes with two, um, I should be using the smaller um, smaller container because that one's for more fine detail for like cabinet doors and trim and so forth, which I didn't know that. So um, I ended up calling Lowe's and I got them to, you know, my, let me just say, my paint can on the back has paint covering up the directions where I poured it out of the can and wiped it off, and so now I can't read it. So I had to call Lowe's and ask them what the ratio was for the Infinity Paint. Basically, there's two different ratios. There's a 2 to 1 ratio and a 1 to 2. 1 to 2 ratio is one cup, one um, part paint, two parts water, and I guess that will make it really runny and really thin or there's two part paints, one part water. So I think I'm going to try the one part paint, two water at first, um, just to see how it does. And then if I don't like that mixture, then I'll, I'll do the other ratio. I'm going to do a little practice run on both to see which would give me the smoothest coverage for my cabinet doors. So I'm going to show you the cabinet door that I did this morning now that it's completely dry. And um, show you, it's it turned out great. It's just a little, it's not as smooth as I want it to be. So let me show you what that looks like. Right now I've got it flipped over because I was going to practice it, but it's really hard to tell you guys. Um, get you in the shade over here. Okay. Here it looks really great, but um, there's a bubble right there and it's hard to see on cam camera, but there are some little tiny air bubbles that I'm not happy with. So, once again, like I was saying, um, I want my cabinet doors to be like they're factory made, like just perfect. So, I'm going to work on those, um, on these two different ratios and see how I can get them. And then um, when I get ready to spray paint them, I'll show you the spray painting of the actual doors. And then we will come back and I will tell you what ratio ended up working the best for this particular gun, gun and that particular um, type of paint, which by the way, is the Sherwin-Williams Infinity Paint by um, Lowe's, or from Lowe's, I should say. So, all right, I'm gonna get started mixing the ratios and then I'll be back. I did spray paint one of the doors. It's in the house dry and I wanted to get a test run to see how it did. Um, and it looks awesome. So let me just say that, like I said in the original video of making these cabinet doors, you want to make sure that you label them and also put on the label which end is bottom and which end is top. So what I did is I did that, but I also, now that I'm spray painting the front of this, I stuck the label of 
the bottom underneath of the cabinet door on the back side and I stuck the letter of what letter cabinet door it is like A, B, C, D on the top part just so that we can see which is top and which is bottom. So right now I am going to go ahead spray paint this door and show you how it looks. I usually have to do two coats on these and so this is going to be coat one for this cabinet door. So let's get started. <laughs> first go round and I went ahead and I did the sides first and then I went back in and did around the edges on the inside and then I need to go back over this once this dries with the second coat okay guys I am inside that's the door that we got to still put a second coat on I wanted to show you the first door that I did that I did not film it's dry now look how fabulous this looks I mean seriously this is just so pretty. I mean the coat just turned out beautiful. And this has two coats on it. Look, I've got spray paint all over my feet, you guys. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I think this looks fabulous. Um, I'm debating if I want to put a third coat on it. I might just do that. But before I do anything else, I'm going to, one more time, look at all this stuff sitting around you guys. Um, I want to put a second coat on this door. So I'm going to take you out there right now and we're going to get started. Hey guys, like I told you before, um, this is the door I put two coats on. The one that I just put the second coat on is in there drying. I'm only going to do two doors to put on film for you guys just because, because it takes at least 30 minutes to an hour per coat to dry. And today I only did two cabinet doors because I was afraid if I did multiple cabinet doors and if I didn't like the way that the paint turned out on one and I did it to all of them then every one of them would be messed up so now I've got the spray paint gun down I understand how to use it I'm happy with the way that the cabinets are turning out and so I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint one more coat on this door um, front for a total of three coats three coats should be plenty enough for the cabinets um, but you got to remember you got to do front and back so um, I haven't even done the back side of these yet. I'm just trying to get all the coats done um, on the front right now. Anyway, I'm going to do this last uh, coat on this door. Wait on the other door to dry. I'll do that one off camera. But um, I'll show you this last coat of, of spray paint and then I will be ending this vlog for today. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. And again, happy Motivational Monday. I'm so sorry this video is late, but I will see you back again on Friday for the next video. And you guys have a super fabulous week. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.